Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the core class Transformers the movie exosuit spike. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to open him up in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging and then going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes. We are going to do some comparisons with him and some other exosuit versions of him including Masterpiece and New Buzzworthy and of course we'll see how he looks and scales with some of the rest of the toy line in particular. Right, now before we crack this guy open, I need to thank Robot Recruits, because that's who I brought this from, and as you can see, they got it to me nice and safely. We've got the new windowless packaging. We can see though that they've still got the plastic ties inside. We've got some brilliant artwork there of Spike himself. And then if we turn it to the side, that's just the same thing zoomed in. Whereas on the back, we've got some actual product shots and we can see that it's going to take 11 steps to transform him. And I must say, I'm very impressed with these core class figures just recently. Um, and for this one, I see no other reason why I won't be either. Um, yes, they're small. Um, and then perhaps, I know, as I say, New Age and Doctor Wu and everything do very, very, very good. Uh, little figures as well but these are a third of the price and that's why there's a third of the a third of the amount of transformation steps so we can see that he's there you can see that oh, that'll be his little blast effect all tied up so what i'm going to do is set him free from there we're going to come back do some first impressions and start the review Okay, so as you can see, we've set him free from his packaging and these were the two little blast effects that I was on about. So he comes pretty much looking like this, but obviously this is, I think, let's have a quick look at how he should be. I nearly said in robot mode there, but let's be honest, it's not too far off, is it? So um, yeah, let's look at his articulation wise then. So you can see that this is his shoulder joint and these will go all the way around. Um, they will oddly go out all the way to the side and back. They pretty much move in every way. And the reason why I'm laughing is because shoulders on humans, of course, don't actually um, really sort of do some of the motions with the wrist and the bicep swivels that obviously this figure uh, can do. That's, I suppose, yeah, acceptable, like a bit of a running pose. But you can turn that. It's a bit restricted because of this there, but you can go out to the side. I suppose, again, as much as a human would, the knee bends all the way back. There's no articulation in the ankles, uh, but there doesn't need to be. There is actually articulation on the head, and it's very cleverly on this little lever at the back there, which, to be honest, I knew nothing about until actually opening this myself for the first time. So I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by that, in honesty. Now, I had a quick look at the instructions, and it's got a little bit of a transformation process just to get him up with the blasters on but it really i don't think it warrants that much to be honest all we've got to do is get these lift the arms up spin them around like so and the same with this spin this around like so and you can see now you've got these tabs at the end where you can indeed attach these little blaster bits to it and i think yeah there we go that's how it's looking if he wants the blast effect on his hands and I presume that's how they're going to fit as well on the back of the road well the alternate mode shall we say so let's turn this back around and let's just go back to how he was in normal human mode normal human mode and let's do the transformation process then so let's take the head spin it round like so if we're looking to lift these up that's it out of the way right so what we need to do is bend the legs down and then back over themselves like so this is going to give us an indication nope come the wrong way of where the wheels are going to go so once you've done that turn these around all the way around like so and that as i say is the bottom part so there's your wheels so what we need to do now is rotate these around so then wheels are there as well as you can see, I should have pointed out in articulation, the wheels all go around as well, which is, I suppose it's a nice little bonus, isn't it, to be honest. Then we're going to turn this all the way around. And what we're looking at doing is getting this tab to fit neatly into there like so. And then, of course, we can turn that arm bit around. So let's turn this wheel around, turn this around, fit nicely that into that tab, turn this around and that's pretty much the alternate mode to be honest so the head can't look forward but it has at least turned well it hasn't had to just turn this haven't we the head will turn side to side rather but it won't lift up to look forward what we need to do now is just attach these little blast effects to obviously give us the illusion 
that he's moving. If these have come apart, just very simply click them back together. But there you go. There is his teeny tiny but very good little alternate mode. And as I've said, for a core class figure, it's great. The core class figures are brilliant. Um, it's in a different league compared to this one, obviously, um, that we got with the other Bosworthy uh, toy line which again wasn't great um of course the figure that came with um slug wasn't spike it was daniel but again at least it transformed that didn't really do anything at all and the only other thing i think you can compare it with but in all honesty of course it is a bit of an unfair comparison that's because this figure came with a masterpiece figure so this has well, to be fair pretty much the same articulation in it it just looks like it's got slightly better paint apps and um, things with it as well and look there you go this one pops off as well when you're not expecting it what i'm going to do though is i'm going to put this guy away and bring him back in a second um so let's see how he looks we're going to do this in both modes as well to be honest but compared with again as i say some figures from the same toy line so yeah he is he's nice and tiny compared to him same as cup and then this guy's just ginormous so let's stand him up in the background not too bad, but I'm sure we'll see how much better he looks when he's back in his normal exosuit human mode. So let's just take him back very simply, take the blast effects off, straighten the legs out, move the arms out of the way first, straighten the legs out, rotate this at the knee, turn it round. Now, yes, there are some big gaps there on the back. Um, and to be honest, they're not even there for transformation purposes. So I'm sure a third party company will be filling them in soon. Turn that around, fold this all the way up, fold the arm back down and of course spin. Oh, I've got this the wrong way around. There we go. Turn the fist around like so. And this, I'm making a right hash of this. That's better. So you need the blue tab and of course the white tab. There we go. So there he is in his exosuit mode i did all that same i still did it wrong turn it around there it is down the good thing is it just spins round and round all over the place so let's go back to doing this comparison which again oh, i've just knocked the arm off again and that one wow not having much luck today might as well keep it in though it's not too detrimental is it and there we go so again that's a bit of an unfair comparison to be honest so i'm going to take him out of the way and as i say that's the only other one we've got which i suppose again would be an unfair comparison but the most important thing before we do that is how does he look size wise with some other core class figures so he's a lot smaller isn't he he really is small compared to which i suppose again if we're looking to get things to scale then he should be a bit smaller than what you'd expect um the core class figures to be so let's have a look i've got a small hot rod there yeah he's definitely the smallest core class figure we've got by a long shot uh, iguanas is over here and uh, yeah definitely definitely right let's take these out of the way and let's do the final thing because this is just a core class figure we don't want to talk about it too much we're going to put him up and against with some figures from the same toy line that he is in and as you can see, he looks really good and goes with them really well. In my opinion, a great little figure. Um, and yeah, it's great that he actually transforms in his exosuit. Bit late to the party with a review of this, but um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've got him or if you'll consider getting one yourself. Take care. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at Studio Series 86 Exospoot. Exospoot? <laughs> Thanks for watching, like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.